When I saw the McLaren F1 on the legendary car shop, I was so excited and wanted to get one. But I haven't found a very efficient way to grind 20 million credits just yet. In fact, I'm having difficulties to win any high credits reward races. For the Lehman, I never did find a fuel-efficient car that is fast enough to win this, and this is actually a very boring race to me, took me like four and a half minutes to run each lap. Even though it is restricted to a 30-minute race, I still didn't have a car on my list that is capable of winning this. Next, the Tokyo Express, as you can see, I was only able to win second place in a GR Yaris. After that one time, I kept getting crashed by dirty AI drivers, I was penalized 5 seconds here and there throughout. I wasn't able to even able to get a second place after spending more than couple of weeks in this. Finally, for this, the Sardegna, I won the first place once. Then I found that by using the GR3 Mustang, if I fuel at the pit stop at certain laps, I was able to consistently win first place to grind 727,000 credits on each race. Stay tuned to see some tactics that I found. For this race, make sure you set the fuel map to 5 or 6, I actually found it easier to just use 6 so that I can have an extra lap before I have to go to my first pit stop. Despite of the fuel, it is actually much easier to drive with this car than this fuel map setting, I feel like setting it to 1 is a bit over torque during acceleration in between and after some sharp turns. As I finish the first lap, it may not seem like I'm going to win as I'm still 14. But trust me, I will slowly get to the top, the key is to be consistent for your laps. consistent and I'll get to the top. Especially when all other drivers will fuel that cars at the end of lap 4 and lap 5. Because I set my fuel map to 6, I was able to fuel the car after lap 6. For this first pit stop, we want to fuel it all the way up to 100% and continue using fuel map 6. If you notice the opponent's list, the Viper SRT will be the fastest car in the race, however, he will make an extra pit stop as he runs out of fuel faster than anyone else as well as his speed. See? This Viper goes into the pit stop every 4 laps, on lap 4, 8, and 12. Every time I come out from the pit stop, it will seem that he overtakes me, but because of this extra pit stop, he won't win this race. If you did drive consistent like I did, most likely you will have fuel until you are just about to finish lap 12. This time you are only running the last 3 laps of the race, that means you will only need about 50% of fuel, but just to be safe, it won't hurt to fuel up just a few extra percent. 
and the Viper is fueling up again as well. So, he won't be able to pass me unless I make any mistakes crashing the car into the barrier or something. seconds faster than the next car behind me, which is the Viper I've been talking about. Took me 26 minutes and 52 seconds with two pit stops for fuel. 727,500 credits times two would be around 1.44 million within the hour. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.